Supporters of Peter Obi, otherwise known as Obedience, on Sunday gathered in Abuja to reminisce on the 2023 presidential election one year after. Recall that it is already one year since the February 25, 2023 presidential election, which the Independent National Electoral Commission, INAC, declared Bola Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress APC winner. The event, organized by renowned activist and founder of Free Nigeria Movement, Dr. Moses Paul, had in attendance the 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, FCT Senator Ireti Kingibe, Professor Pat Utomi, Aisha Yusufu, Kenneth Okonkwo, Hilda Dokubo, General John Enenche, and a host of others at the Merit House Abuja. Addressing the participants of the event, the organizer, Dr. Paul, said the event was put together to appreciate and honor those who supported Peter Obi before, during, and after the 2023 presidential election. This is the energy that exists with us. And so we are going to call some names, we are going to identify some people. But for what we symbolize and what we are as a people, sometimes it is better that your name is not even called. How do you call? What do you say to the person who was born in Kano on election day? What do you say to those who were shot in River State? How about those who were whipped out of their polling booths in Lagos? I've been to Rwanda countless times and I remember after the genocide we were helping them to recover. I never thought that in my lifetime that in Nigeria people would strap themselves. That as we sit here today there are people in the bush kidnapped. I never thought that that could ever happen. And when I asked them in Rwanda why are they fighting? There are no two tribes, there are two dialects. But a million people were slaughtered. So it's not about our diversity, it's about how we manage what we have. Also speaking of the event, Peter Obi said the journey to a better Nigeria has just begun. And I showed you that all the money that Yahoo Yahoo people have stolen in one year, in one year, is not up to the amount of money that we stole in the government in one day. <laughs> public money. I'm not encouraging anybody to steal them, but we will deal with those who are stealing and come on resources first. Let's catch them first. 